am an event planner for about 40 years now. Um, I've been doing street fairs, festivals, things like that forever and ever, it seems like. This is something that um, I just fell into it. We started planning it 13 and a half years ago. We've been almost open for 12 years. My vendors are all really, really happy. They real get really close with each other. They help each other set up their canopies. It's like, I consider it like a little village. I'm known as the lady that starts people out in the very beginning because I, there is no minimum fee here for my food vendors and my uh, farmers. Um, so it's just they pay 8% of their gross for the day plus $3. So if they only make 100 bucks a day, they're only paying me like 11 bucks. That's it. 65% of this market, we give back to the elementary school that supports us. And we, yeah, they don't do anything with the market. Um, I have a farmer's market rep that comes each week and checks in with me, do I need anything, whatever. We, they, they supply us with the toys, for the toy chest for the kids. We give out free toys every week for the kids. Farmer's markets are a place where if somebody comes through a farmer's market and they're upset and they have an angry look on their face, when they come in, they're gonna be smiling when they leave. Every, every single time you come to the market, it's a little different. So this time, like I'm, I'm here where normally I'm over there, so I have two sides. So now I have to come up with a completely different way of doing it. When you do the farmer's market, you have to be very versatile. And my mom was like, Brenda, why don't you sell your deodorant? So oh, I yeah. uh, um, did. I've been out of, out of work for about four years okay. so I knew I wanted to come up with something to do that at least I can um, at least I can try to make money and I actually love it um, the only issue is actually making the money <laughs> so. well we're all struggling now so in the economy like the um, farmers market from what I've heard the, the the popularity of it or people coming to the farmers market has um, dropped right. um, from what I've heard other vendors say. Hopefully like right now I'm in total debt. Like I am in such debt. So I'm just crossing my fingers. This uh, um, basket that uh, we make it in my Ghana, my own family make it. Original of this basket from northern part of Ghana, the town called Boregatanga. But I live in eastern part, and my family originated from the north. So they bring their culture with them and have it here. See, how you doing? Very good, very good. This is handmade from Ghana, and actually my own family make it. It does not break or crack. I have other bigger size here, mm -hmm. and this are the medium size. The medium size here is 35 each, and the bigger one, 45. So you can choose any color, any size, for the best price. It's a community in northern part called Boregatanga. Uh -huh. So, this is like main occupation in that area mm. because the land is more like a desert. This oh. type of grass grow there. So they find means to, they use it for roofing their houses. They use it for bridges, everything. Really? Yes, everything around there, they use, gorgeous. yes. So it's like everything they do is about this type of grass there. Me, I consider every day is a good day for me. It's better than you stay home. You know? Yeah. So I like it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Welcome back. Okay. Very nice. And let me show you. This one does bees and these guys have honey. And what's so cool is I use uh, Maldus in my product. When you tell me that, that you're talking to some of my vendors and they're saying they love the market because of the management team here, it's like, I love it. I love I love my assistant manager, Marjorie. I call her my Jamaica mama. 